People say more needs to be done when it comes to mental health and funding in South Carolina. Our Tara Jabor working for you tonight. She shares the story of a local woman who took her mental health condition, turned it into a passion for serving others. Kelly Feud Dupree is a local advocate for mental health. I um, am a person that is living and highly functioning with a mental health condition. Um, I have been diagnosed with bipolar disorder. Kelly says she first started feeling different in college. I've been to the lowest of lows. Um, I um, have made poor choices in the past based on not um, living in recovery. And um, I've seen the effects that that has had on my family. Kelly's mental health journey led her to her new passion, helping others. It's just my heart's passion now to try to make a difference. Um, so I'm a certified peer support specialist for the state of South Carolina, which I'm so proud to say and honored. She says her recovery is defined through serving and giving back. The resources are there. It's just sometimes people don't know how to get the help. Recently, more money was added to the South Carolina Department of Mental Health, but some experts say that more could be done. Mental health awareness and mental health programming is still um, kind of seen as like a side program of medical treatment when it's really the same thing. Rob Atchison, the executive director of NAMI, says he would like to see a greater awareness for wraparound care. A lot of times people need housing, uh, so transitional housing is needed. Um, after or support, uh, supports that are needed, uh, whether that be in a peer setting or um, through continued therapy and mental health treatment. Like Kelly, Rob says mental health is a journey and it's the job of everyone in South Carolina to change the stigma and work to make it better. So we really have to focus on making sure that people have the best opportunity to succeed and that's going to take continued support. Working for you, Tara Jabor, ABC News 4.